Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. So little update on this voice of mine. I did go to urgent care yesterday because I was just getting concerned that my voice is getting worse and worse and worse. She did some testing. We don't know what's wrong with me. She's pretty certain that it's allergy related. It could potentially be acid reflux. I did let her know that I do have heartburn pretty regularly. So she suggested that I take a daily allergy pill and a heartburn medication such as Zantac. So I did take that this morning, gurgled some salt water, which I never like to drink water before I weigh in, but you know, I had to do it this morning. So hopefully that doesn't too much affect my way in. So let's talk about this week. Oh, before we do that, she suggested that I go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor. I have an appointment on May 21st. May 21st. That's the soonest that they could get me in. So I'll be going to an ear, nose, and throat doctor then. And I'm hoping by then this is gone or potentially a lot better because I can't sound like I've been smoking for 50 years for another month can't do it. So my week went pretty good. Yeah, pretty darn good. I have been walking a lot at work the last couple of days. We had our global CEO in town. So I did have to, as being part of the upper management, participate in campus tours and things throughout the university. So I'm a little bit sore from walking around so much that I'm hoping again that doesn't affect my weigh in because sore muscles can retain water and retain fluid, which can then affect your weigh in. So I don't know, we'll see when I step on the scale, but overall my week was pretty decent. I did have, I think one higher point day and then of course Easter. And then you saw my travel video, I was able to stay 100% on track with two rollover points when we traveled over to Seattle. So check out my what I eat day travel edition that was posted on Wednesday. If you haven't seen that video for tips and tricks to stay on track while traveling. So I don't know what's going to happen when I step on the scale. Overall, I feel like I had a good week, but I did drink water this morning. I'm a little bit sore. So cross your fingers. We'll see. I'm going to head into my workshop. I'll be back to share not only the topic we discussed, but also the results of my weigh-in. So if you want to see how this week went for me on the scale and what we discussed in our workshop, just stay tuned. Hey guys, I just got to work out of my WW workshop. It was a fabulous workshop as always. Again, it is a topic that has been on my mind and I do have some things that I want to share with you guys that I've been thinking about a challenge for the upcoming week as well as a new goal of mine, which ties hand in hand with this week's workshop topic. So this week's topic was find new moves. So it talks a little bit about exercise, finding things that maybe either A, you've been thinking about doing. So maybe you've been thinking about trying a Zumba class or maybe attending a class at the gym, or maybe you've been eyeing a new walking route around your neighborhood. So this week's topic gives you some suggestions on what you can do to try a new form of movement. And of course, this ties hand in hand with exactly what I've been thinking about. Now that the weather is getting nicer, you can see, well, I don't know if you can see here on my window, but it's raining today, but the weather has been nicer here. So I've been itching to go out and walk and enjoy the nice weather. So I'll talk about that at the end, but I want to share some of the tips that WW shares with us on how you can find some new moves. So number one, what type of movement would you like to try if nothing stands in your way? So you're not intimidated. You're not self-conscious. You're not scared. There's, there's not fear involved. What is the one activity that you would want to try? So for me, that is some sort of a Zumba or jazzercise class, but this girl doesn't have a whole lot of moves. And I feel like there's a lot of fear involved in that for me. Am I going to look stupid? Am I going to be embarrassed? Am I going to be able to follow along? Those are what holds me back from trying something new. So reflect. 
What is holding you back? Once you figure what that is, then research. Research the one type of new movement that intrigues you or that you wanna do. Go online, go to a local gym, check out a class, observe a class. Honestly, go on YouTube, research the type of movement that you are interested in, say for example, Zumba, and watch some videos. You can even try those types of things in the privacy of your own home. So that makes it a little bit better and less intimidating. Now let's say that you're interested possibly in a spin class. Well, a lot of us don't have a spin bike at home. So go to your gym and on your own time, hop on a bike, try doing some spin moves that you've researched via online, YouTube, see how you feel. Can you do them? Are you comfortable? Do you feel like if you practice those moves on a personal one-on-one -on -one level, just with yourself at the gym, then would that lead you into being comfortable? The third thing is to rethink your assumptions. All shapes and sizes do all types of activities. So there certainly isn't a standard. You don't have to weigh 120 pounds to do Pilates. So rethink your fears, rethink your standards. And it really, really honestly helps you guys to bring a friend. Would you feel more comfortable in a social setting with a friend or in an activity setting with a friend? Because at least you know that you have someone on your side, you have an advocate there for you. So bring a friend with you. So maybe this week, Think about an activity you've always wanted to try. Do your research, get over your fears, bring a friend and try that activity. So for me, I've been talking and talking and talking about wanting to walk. So I have officially decided that I'm going to walk every single day when it isn't raining on my lunch break at work. So I'm gonna pop on some tennis shoes and I'm gonna walk the campus for 20 minutes to a half an hour, come back and eat my lunch. I'm gonna try to do that three to five of the work days this upcoming week, weather permitting. So that is new for me. I'm hoping that that helps with my weight loss as well. So I'm rethinking that. I'm gonna dedicate myself to giving it a shot. And honestly, I bet you I love getting out of my office and being out in the fresh air for that little bit every day of this upcoming work week. So think about a new activity, give it a try. You won't be disappointed, you won't be sorry. So let's talk Way in. So my way in this week, uh, as I mentioned, I drank some liquids prior to going to my workshop to take some medication. I'm a little sore from the random activity that I've been doing the last few days at work. So when I hopped on the scale, I actually gained 0.2 so disappointed that I gained. This is one week where I'm legit disappointed. I'm hoping that it has to do with the liquids that I drank prior to getting on the scale. And I'm really hoping that I can take that off this next week. It is May. It is a new month. I want to hit my 25 pounds. I have about 25, or I, sorry, five pounds to lose to hit that this next week. So yeah, a little frustrated with this week's weigh-in, but just encourages me to do better at keeping on track, get in that little bit of extra movement this next week by committing to walking on my lunch break. And hopefully all of that plays in to a much better loss or a loss at all on the scale this next week. So moving on to a new week. I like to stay positive. It's nothing. Point two could literally be a sip of water that I drank to take my medication. So I have another plan for this next week in addition to the activity. I'm going to have a five days of honest tracking. I'm going to share my plans on my Facebook group. I will put that right here on the screen and it will be linked down in the description box below. So if you are not in my Facebook group, make sure that you join because I'm going to do a five days of honest tracking. No matter what I'm eating, good, bad, I'm going to track it and I'm going to track it honestly. And I'm going to be posting my tracker on my Facebook group every single day, Monday through Friday of this next week. I won't be doing Sunday because I film of what I eat. So I'm always on track on Sunday and I have to honestly track that to get my calorie counts for that day. But Monday through, well, I guess Monday through Thursday, since my day starts over on Friday, is honest tracking. You're going to see my tracker posted on my Facebook group all four days, probably Sunday as well. And we are going to lose some weight on the scale this next week. So who's with me? Who wants to have five days of honest tracking accountability on our Facebook group? I'm going to be posting hashtag honest tracking with Jen. Track me, post me, tag me, involve me in your five days 
of Honest Tracking. So who's in? So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you join my Facebook group so you can take part in the five days of Honest Tracking. Let me know down in the comments, how did your week go? Did you gain? Did you lose? Are you happy with your results? Do you feel that you earned those results? And of course, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I'd love it if you give this one a thumbs up. Happy, happy Friday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.